Hey everyone, this is Josh with another Bitcoin and blockchain tutorial available at chaintuts.com. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a more technical overview of the differences between full node and SPV or simplified payment verification wallet technologies. This discussion is going to be a little bit more technical than some of our other overview videos, but don't worry. Uh, many of the other topics discussed in this video have other tutorials in both article and video form that can help explain some of those concepts you might not be familiar with. First, let's discuss what a full node wallet is. A full node wallet downloads the entire blockchain that applies to that particular cryptocurrency. That means it downloads the block headers with all of the metadata for each block, as well as every single transaction that's included in that block. Because these full node wallets download the entire blockchain with all transaction data, they're able to cryptographically verify every single transaction in the blockchain. So for a particular wallet user, all of the payments that are paid to their uh, addresses included in their wallet can be cryptographically verified. And that way the node knows for sure that these uh, transactions are valid and have been accepted by the network because they can verify that those transactions are in fact accepted by the network, the wallet knows that the user's money is theirs and will be accepted when new transactions are created and sent out to the rest of the network. So if uh, Alice sends Bob some amount of currency and Bob is the owner of a full node wallet, his wallet can perfectly verify that the money is in fact his. So when Bob goes to send another user on the network some amount of currency, the network will definitely accept that amount of money um, and there's you know it's much harder to pull off a fraud uh, when somebody is using a full node wallet these wallets offer also offer some of the best privacy uh, of the different wallet technologies because the wallet downloads the entire blockchain so when the wallet is looking to check and verify that certain transactions that apply to this specific wallet user's addresses are valid, uh, there's no indication to other parties on the network what addresses uh, that wallet is actually using and actually trying to um, you know, check. Now contrast this a little bit with SPV wallets. Again, SPV stands for Simplified Payment Verification. These wallets only download the block headers for all of the blocks in the blockchain. This amount of data is about a thousand times smaller than downloading the full blockchain, so it's great for running on uh, pieces of hardware that have limited capacity, like smartphones or maybe smaller netbooks, that type of uh, technology. Now, since these wallets only download the block headers, they'll still have to download some transaction data specific to the addresses that are included in that wallet. Again, to verify that uh, you know, payments spent to the user's addresses are indeed valid. So what SPV wallets do is they contact other full nodes and SPV nodes on the network and ask for transaction data that those nodes might have uh, that apply to these addresses. This does introduce a little bit more of a privacy risk because you're asking for data that specifically pertains uh, to your addresses. Um, what these wallets do then is they check that the applicable transactions have been accepted by the network, but instead of just uh, verifying them by looking at the whole blockchain and the whole history the whole way back, uh, they trust that if a transaction has been accepted by other nodes on the network, for a couple of blocks, so say that this transaction is at least six blocks back um, it, you know, from the new block that's being generated, that they, they can assume that the network is indeed going to accept uh, the amount of currency that wallet user has as valid and owned by that user. So they do have to download some of this specific transaction data again, and in order to cryptographically verify this to avoid trusting other nodes too much, they can check that the transactions do, uh, you know, the, the transactions are included in the Merkley tree uh, that is part of the block headers. So it's a way of cryptographically verifying that a transaction has been included in a block and accepted by the network without having to look at every single transaction the whole way back in the blockchain. 
These nodes are slightly less secure than full node wallets because they do require some amount of trust regarding other nodes on the network. This security risk is mitigated slightly uh, by contacting multiple nodes so that one single rogue node can't throw off an SPV wallet. So this has been a little bit of a technical look at the difference between SPV and full node wallets. As always, there's a text article on the website that accompanies this video. And as always, thank you very much for watching.